Hi, it's Kim, and thank you for coming to the channel today. Glad to see you. We're going to talk about keeping chipmunks out of your planters today. One of the early mornings, um, just a few weeks ago, I came out and found a newly planted hypertufa planter of mine. It was all upended. I had put some elfin thyme in it, and there it was, all strewn out. They completely uprooted the whole ball of it. And um, I know I had set it on the steps and everything, when I left it overnight after watering it, it rained cats and dogs all night and everything, but they decided to dig in it. One of them, two of them, a whole family of them, they just kind of climbed up the side and just put holes in it. Now, I know you can see that colored gravel. I use some aquarium gravel sometimes just because it's a, uh, I had it from an old aquarium and I've used that for uh, my drainage, but they just have destroyed this. It has to be completely replanted and redone. There's dirt or soil slung all over the place. So what I had to do is get it, redig it, carry this up onto the um, deck, and get it repotted. Again, it's very, very wet and soggy because there were some very strong rains that night. But it was completely messed up, and I've got to keep these varmints out of my planters. I have so many holes and things where they've dug. If you read the post over on my file, you can see. So here are some three solutions that I am trying with and without much success. I thought of putting netting or shade cloth over the top of the planters, but that just doesn't seem to work for me. I don't like covering my planters during the summer season. Then there's powdered hot pepper sprinkled on the soil. That's not really good because I don't like to get a dose on that when I forget that I've got the pepper on the soil. Also people put forks upright into the soil, but that is so ugly I don't like the way that looks. So what are you supposed to do? I came to the conclusion I'll use some plain wood skewers. Let me show you what I decided to do. Now here is my setup for the little planter, the one the chipmunks or whatever varmint have most recently messed with. And this is the plant. I'll probably have to create a video about it later. But that is Elfin Thyme in there. And I think we've done the Bird of Paradise. I've repotted the Thanksgiving Cactus. And I've got my Bridal Veil. But I don't, I don't think we've done that video yet. I'll have to check on that. But what I have is just a package of skewers that you can get at the dollar store. And I'm going to put them down into the plant to discourage the little varmints from trying to get into that planter. And this is what I'm going to do. Now this skewers, a little sharp pointed, it has the more dull pointed end here. And these are just the regular little bamboo wood, wooden ones. Not the metal ones or anything. But what I'm going to do is sink those down into this planter. Now, of course, they're too tall for this particular planter, but I'm going to break them off just so they just break the surface. That way they don't show for me, but if a little critter would try to dig in there, he's going to meet something sharp and pointed and prob probably, or at least that's the plan, run away. I'll just break these and sink them to just below the surface. I don't even think you can see those from the angle, but I'll lift the camera up in just a moment. Once these start to grow and spread out some, the time, you probably won't see those at all anyway, but that could help the little varmint 
from getting into them. I'm just breaking them apart. They come apart really easily. And I'm going to assume he comes toward the edges. That shouldn't interfere with the um, growth of the roots or anything because I'm sure they'll fine and they'll grow around the edges. But you can see how these just disappear. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see that tiny little skewer just popping up into the edge. I have a few of them here and there. And that, if the little varmint should come up here and try to get into the pot, that should discourage him, I think. But that is my method to try to discourage the little varmints from getting into my pots. Now this is a really old pot. You may remember it where it used to be across the patio. It used to be, or across the deck. I used to have it against that wall. But unfortunately, that's the wall that I had a trouble with. I don't know if anything ran off the roof and came down, but I'm not putting any plants there this year. I'm going to have everything over here, you know, along this wall, out across this area, on the tables. We'll just put everything here in the center. But we've got a lot more videos to have out here. So be sure to keep an eye on everything. I've got a lot more thoughts and ideas where this one came from. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate you when you visit my videos and watch them, recommend and share them with your friends or share them on Facebook. There is a little share option right under the video where you can share on Pinterest, Facebook, wherever you want to share it, Twitter. So do that and that helps me a lot. But thank you for watching today and come back for some more videos. We'll have to update our, um, is it Bridal Veil? I don't think I've done Bridal Veil. I'm not sure. I think I've not done that. I'll have to get that out for you. Thanks a lot.